Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle, Bits, Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Oh, look at how nice the shinies are. They're so nice looking. And we gotta explore the bedroom, and we gotta explore the attic. I didn't know that was the attic. I thought that was his, uh, his library. And then we gotta explore the closet to get that fancy thing there. Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the, I was gonna say the previous episode, in the previous game, um, I don't know. What, we, what was the last game we played? I don't, I don't remember what the last video was. Oh, right, they're all worth different amounts of stuff. Oh, dude, this is insane. Okay, so, uh, disclaimer before we start getting into the game, is I've played the very first version of this, like the PS2 version, way back in the day. 
and uh, I never beat it like 110% or whatever it is. Oh, right, Patrick's lost socks and underwear. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. Okay, yeah. So, um, and then I played this game a little bit when uh, it first came out because I bought it, but I have never completed this one, I don't think. I think I got close to the end or something. I don't know. I haven't done all the levels before, though. I know that for sure in like both of the games. So, this is going to be a fun experience for everyone. Uh, anyway, let's go over here to the 10. Okay, this is the bedroom. I keep wanting to hold R1 to like, I don't know, uh, high jump? I think it, no, it's not. Oh, I'm picturing the other SpongeBob game we played, which was like L1 to high jump, but we can double jump. So that's good. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, it's so smooth. It looks so good too. Oh, just so many great things. Change room. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, right, right, right. So square does this, triangle does that. Okay, circle does like the bowling move, I believe eventually, but we don't have access to said move yet because uh, I don't I don't have it. And I think you get it after you beat like the first boss or something. And then, oh, right, we can do that though with circle. Oh, the, the music in this game. I know they remastered it from the original, but it's so good. Oh, wait, 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 that jump. That felt very, oh, that was very um, uh, Crash Bandicoot-esque right there. Oh, dude, I missed the sock. Maybe I should probably hit this button too and see what that does. Oh, uh, that could have helped out. Our... <laughs> I didn't have to do all that fancy jumping stuff to get up here, whoops. Uh, that's okay. And then here, I think we can do we can go up like this and square it. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll just try hitting this first. Oh, there's the ball. I was like, I was gonna say I could read all these signs, but we learned in the last uh, game of Stray that I'm not very good at reading, so we're just not gonna we're gonna avoid it. Thirty seconds. This should be fairly simple, I think. This is like the basic platforming Another stuff. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, this game's gonna be so easy in comparison to the crash stuff. I like it. I think that's everything for this room, so we can leave. Oh, and the timer still keeps counting down? That's cool, that's cool. Haha. -ha. Very much like the power cells of the first Jack and Daxter game. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. <laughs> when this episode comes out and such, uh, I will be... Oh, wait, these are the sneaking ones, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I will be on, like, my sort of staycation vacation, which should be a good time. Which is also why, oh, another reason why we have had all the videos be kind of sporadic lately. So I hope you all understand, but I hope everyone's having a good summer. Anyway... Uh, something else about this game is that Mr. Krabs' voice actor is not Mr. Krabs. Like, they, they got, like, all the voice actors to be all the characters except for Mr. Krabs, who I guess was busy at the time or something? SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. 
I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Shiny objects. Oh boy, his voice. <laughs> his voice is so funny. There's just, there's so much to do. Oh, press, press triangle to activate. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, we did this already before. This is another time limit thing, so we gotta get onto the, the top of the place. Uh, I don't know if Patrick's gonna talk to me for me jumping on top of his house or something. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but uh, let's see what happens. This is wasting my time, showing me the cutscene. I know. Uh, uh. Do we think we have time? No, we definitely do not have time. I think this one probably stays forever though, and then this one over here is the countdown. Basic platforming. Oh, we don't have the little circle under us anymore. We do have our shadow though, so that should help us out. Oh wait, that's a golden no, pair of underwear. Pairs of underwear. Right. Right. Fresh like a spring breeze. Right, right, right. We got to get the golden underpants in order to get more like hits and stuff. Oh, that's amazing. What's our first death going to be in this game? That's always like the the guess, right? Or like the thing that I'm always looking forward to. Uh, let's talk to Bubble Buddy. Hey, SpongeBob. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! Well, we already cleared that out, so... <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh, this game's like, it's so funny because just like the uh, Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank stuff, all the buttons are just like second nature to me for it, which is just like... It's so good. Wait a minute. I can see him there, but I can see him there. Can we see him in both spots at the exact same time? Is that a possibility or do they think about that? Oh, I picked up Patrick's sock. Uh, we probably should talk to him. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. The game's so much fun and so happy and everything. It's so great. Uh, okay, so anyway, we gotta pick up... I think we've broken almost all the things to give us all the shiny objects for this area. I don't know how many we need for Mr. Krabs. Your uh, treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on 3, the 3,000?! No way, no way, no way. 3,000, you're insane. Anyway, I guess our first level that we get to go to is uh, Jellyfish Field, so let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, um, that's awkward. I thought you just walked through it and it took us there. I forgot that you had to stand on it and, and get the taxi to uh, get there. Oh, there's no taxi in this? Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Ah! 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 Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, <laughs> but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King Jellyfish? 
Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Amazing. Uh, so I just realized we forgot to go to Squidward's house in uh, Bikini Bottom. That's okay. We'll, we'll do worry about that when we go back there. Um, this is probably better for the lore anyway. It's like, oh, where was he? Oh, he was in the uh, Jellyfish Fields. So that's why we had to go over here first. Okay, let's keep going, Dan. Uh, I believe we have to come back here with Patrick at some point. We can hit that. Here's our first little uh, taste of the robots. What's this? This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall into the goo. But also, like, Sandy can't swim either, so don't let her get into the goo. I bet they call it goo and not water, so you, you're not like, oh, they can't swim. But also, they could say water because they can't swim. Anyway, um, what am I saying? I don't know. It's, it's a little, it's a crazy day. A little bit of a crazy day. I can't believe I have to get 3,000 of these shiny objects for Mr. Krabs. I was thinking it was like 300 or something like small, like a basic number, but no. He has to be uh, insane. Oh right, we didn't pick up a fourth pair of underwear until right then. Oh, I should go get these objects over here. I'm just, I'm so, uh, what's the word? Enamored? I don't know if that's the right word. Oh, we can't reach that one. Um, this is a teleporting box. We have to uh, like unlock these and then we can teleport all over the place. Yes, 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 it's all coming back to me. All of it. Oh, look at me just doing parkour without even meaning to. So good. Oh wait, can we reach this one here? Oh, we can. Oh, uh, there, well, we're wondering where the first death was gonna come from. <gasps> Everything's back. Wait, do I keep my shiny object? Oh, I do from before. Okay, now it makes a little bit more sense why it's 3,000. Okay, I'm just gonna go break everything again and I'll, I'll be back in a uh, look at these split. I don't think I was up here before, so mm -hmm. this is new territory. Ooh, look at that. These are really bouncy. All right, we're gonna try not to die again, like to something basic, like walking off the edge. Uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a game eventually at some point where I don't die from just walking off the edge like that. Eventually though, not right now. That's not happening anytime soon. Uh, okay, so I think we'll, we'll just worry about getting these ones and then this one. Oh, okay, I can do it that way, that works. Uh, oh, we need to put some shiny objects into the clam in order to get past here anyway. Oh no. Well, as we said, they all respawn and we'll get more and more if we really, really badly need to. But I believe we actually have a way to get to this hook over here. Whee! Oh, it's so satisfying when you get to break all the tiki heads. I forgot the designs of each of them is like, just as amazing. Like these are just like the basic box version. And then you have the, uh, oh, there's a sock. And then we have the, oh. Oh, ju bungee jumping sections up all the way up there. Okay, never mind. Then we have the the sneaking one, which we've seen already. We have the explosive one, which is like the red TNT barrels of like any game. Uh, and then what else? What other ones are there? There's probably there's one that you need to like use super things on to break them properly. Uh, here you go. That was a, a cool animation. Was that in the original game? I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember a plane coming down to drop that in there. That reminded me of like the, the, the bomber plane in the first Ratchet game that comes through and just blows up the one bridge that you're trying to cross. Uh, I keep forgetting to jump on these things to get this stuff, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it doesn't matter too much. Uh, how do I reach these ones? Oh, we just gotta get close to them and we get like magnetized to us. That's good. I love the basic uh, robots right now. Eventually, we will get smacked and crushed by them. Uh, we don't even have to read this sign because I know this is Freezy Fruit and it will be used by Patrick later on in order to freeze the goo and we can skate on it and such. Oh, look at me go, remembering things. It's so good. I played this level so many times as a kid. So many times because often I would like start playing this game and then I'd play this part and then I'd be like, oh, okay, that's fun. And then we'd get through like a little bit and then I'd stop playing and I'd be like, oh, well now I have to restart the game because I don't remember where we were and I'd have to like replay it all over again. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who did that, but maybe I was. I know my brother did it too. Like we'd start playing a game and if we left it for like 
over two weeks, we'd be like, nope, it, we gotta restart the entire thing because I don't remember what was happening. The only time I tried not to do that was with Pitfall, I think, where I just was like, no, it took forever to get to this point, so now I, I really wanna do really well on it. Boing. Uh, I don't know what this is trying to get me to do here. Oh, wait, maybe I do? Is this a time limit thingy? Oh, it's not. Dude, this is like, <laughs> this parkour across all these things. If we played this game before we played Crash Bandicoot or any of those other ones, that would have been like a challenge for me. But now since we've played it all before, I'm like, this is so easy. And then again, this is a kid's game. So, and I, I did play it like when I was, I don't know, eight. So maybe I should be okay with it and I should be fine no matter what happens. I'm trying my best to collect everything. Now I think we can break this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Gary, what's shaking? Wow, wow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. I love the little new animations that they did on the remastered version here. This is great. That one mixed with like the one with his face just being shocked. So good. Mixing in all the memes. Uh, we don't have to do that. I can just jump onto this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get the golden spatula instantaneous. Now we go and we get the colorful shiny objects. And I think that's everything. That was like the easiest diving section I've ever done. <laughs> oh, and then I walked off the edge. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. Okay. 3000 is not looking so scary like right now because we have 800. But we're probably going to have to spend more later on. Me thinks. The upgraded ham bot ham it's a hammer bot, right, 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 right. <laughs> the puns of all the robot names, that's a thing, right? Or is it just the ham the hammer bot? We can smack this guy a few times. How you doing, buddy? Dude, look at all the shiny objects. I wanna collect them all. Okay, the the hammer bot, not that challenging to take on. I thought it would be, but it's really not that bad. I don't remember where all the golden underpants are, because the fact that I forgot that they were actually in the game, I believe they're all just in the main bikini bottom section, like the main level that we started at. But I'm not entirely sure if that's the case or not. 1,000! We did it, we got over 1,000. Okay, this part we're gonna need the bowling thing, so this level and such, we're gonna have to come back to these levels and get things. Oh boy, I can't wait to go back in time. Uh, but at least, like, editing will make that easier. Uh, at least for, like, viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'm sorry that this is, by the way, a, like, it's gonna be another filler content game. Uh, kind of like the last one. But it's just, just until I figured out what I'm doing, because I've used up, like, all of my ideas for content that I was thinking of doing. There was, like, there's been so many games that I wanted to play and such, and then I, I've played them now. And now I'm like, well, I, I went through all my ideas. Now I need to figure out what else I have to do. Look, there's blue jellyfish. Easter eggs. Easter eggs for all the people that know the SpongeBob's. I wonder if I can actually pick out like all of the Easter eggs that are in this game related to that, like related to the show. Cause I probably could. I feel like my SpongeBob knowledge is good enough to know everything, but I'm not sure. I'm sure they would have added more in the remastered version too. Another hammer bot. Super duper easy, just a little bit more like extended reach compared to these original robot things. Never mind, why did I say something? Why do I even say words? Okay, this part's literally just parkour. Okay, this is a little trickier because his shadow kind of disappears when I'm underneath him. Luckily, the hitbox is a little bit bigger. Uh, I should not have been trying to get out here that entire time. I, wait, hmm, huh, hmm. All right, we're back here again. We're just gonna ignore that this time. I got hit by the hammer bot again, but it's fine. We're fine. As long as we take them out like quickly, I'm, I'm sure it's actually re really easy. Oh, here we go. Here's how we get up to these parts. I was wondering before. Okay, so we go that way. That's the other way. So let's just bounce on all these things. 
Oh, dude. This is great. Oh, wait, all the boxes came back over here. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, are we gonna get, like, a secret going this way, actually? We might. Oh, oh, that launched me here. Okay, good, we got the sock. How many, can we pause the game and see? Oh, whoa! Whoa, what's this? I don't remember this in the thing before. Okay, so this is showing us like where we are versus like what's all over the place. Okay, beside a dome, industrial park. Yeah, so like these levels over here, I think I played SpongeBob's Dream before. Uh, I've definitely never played the Dutchman's Graveyard. Sand Mountain's a good one. Uh, and I think Kelp Forest I also have never played. I believe those are like the two levels that I haven't played before. This is so cool. Mr. Krabs, okay. 3,000, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, there's just gonna be a bunch of objects. We have to return so many socks. Um, there's 14 socks here. We only have one of, oh, dude, there's so many things. Holy moly, this is insane. Okay, well, we got a lot to do. This game actually might be a little bit longer than I was uh, anticipating. And that's okay, because it'll give me time to figure out what I want to do with everything. <laughs> and come up with a little bit, a few more content ideas in the meantime. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep going this way. I think we can open up this box here, and then this will allow us to jump back to the beginning nice and quick. And then we can hop back in here again and go back here. It's perfect. It's the perfect amount of things. Oh, and triple kill. Let's go, and then we just break you. Oh, did you shoot at a can to spawn this guy? That's amazing. And then we can just hit this, and it opens the door, and there is a golden spatula waiting for us. Look at that. That's four. It's so good. And with that, we're going to leave this episode here. So I want to thank everyone so much for watching this episode of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.